Welcome back to Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We are joined by one of the stars of tonight's episode of 100 Days to Indy, Catherine Legg. Catherine, I, I got to ask you about this whole series. What's it like when the cameras are following you around? I think it's great for the for the sport, honestly. You know, we've seen it help Formula One so much. I think that it gives all the fans an insight into what it's like behind the scenes. I think there's different levels of how open we are and how comfortable we are. You know, sometimes you see the, the boom come over and you're like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. That's probably not smart. Um, but I think it's great, and I think it gives... A personal aspect to to racing, you know, whether you're a race fan or not, you can appreciate the amount of absolute drama that has been here. One of the guys I talked to last week was Augustine Canapino. He was featured in this series, and I asked him what he wants fans to know about him who may not know who he is. A lot of people know you from being here, you know, 10 years ago racing here. But for those new fans who don't know much about you, what do you want them to know about you? I would say I would want them to know that I'm out here, you know, doing my very best. I think that's important for everybody and that I am human and that I am following my dream and my passion and that I I hope to make them all proud of the weekend. The way you've handled everything I know in the last few days has been easy to see. You've handled it with class. Thank you. Obviously, just being involved with that incident with Stefan Wilson. You, you said the other day you were racing for Stefan in a way, too. Yeah. Expand off of that for me. Well, I feel horrible that he can't be in this year's 500. You know, he worked so hard every year to be in the 500. And so I feel like in some way I would like him to be racing with me. And, and I'm racing for him, you know, because everybody has to know that he's on my mind and, and in our thoughts and prayers and I think it's the same for everybody you know we're all feeling awful for him and not only is he in pain but he's also taken out of a sport that he loves for the time being so we can we can just have him all with us in our in our minds and in our hearts really you got some track time with Graham today just sort of shaking down the car doing some install laps is it weird not to have Graham on the team this week so weird <laughs> so weird like to see him wearing that suit it's just it's bonkers because uh, you expect him to be one of us and he still is but he's not and I it's, it's a very strange but very cool feeling you can't text some strategy now I mean, no, not really. No, but neither things. neither are they. They're not telling him anything either because they're like, you're not really one of us, but you are one of us. And we're like, you're not really one of us, but you are one of us. <laughs> so so he's, he's, he's on his own, like, Ray Hall Island over there. <laughs> and last thing, Catherine, you'd love to see five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten female drivers in this race down say, the road. Yep. But this year, you're the only one. Is there an added sense of pride when you meet young young girls that are watching you race? Yes and no, because I don't like I don't ever think of myself just as the only one. I just think of myself as another driver, right? So it's only when it's brought to my attention that I do, and I know that there's an amount of responsibility that comes with that. And so I think that's all you can do, right? Is just go and show that you're try you're trying your best and living your dream, and that's all you can do. And Catherine Legg is chasing the dream coming up on Sunday in the 107th running of the Indianapolis 500. Catherine, go fast, be safe, have a great race. Thanks very much.